What's up guys, Luis here from Alibi Security, and in this video we're going to cover how to set up a couple of features on our Vigilant Performance Series SmartSense IP cameras. Keep in mind that only our Performance Series SmartSense cameras have the capability for human and vehicle detection. Before I hand it over to Norman, our Director of Product Management, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button to get notified when new videos are available. Let's get started. First thing we'll cover is the cross-line setup or line cross setup. Uh, with this, basically, you go into intelligence settings under smart. We're going to go ahead and check that box at the top and basically select a or draw a line uh, where we want to trigger or um, have a particular area active for motion. Uh, in this particular case, we're going to put it in the street here. So anytime anything crosses that line, uh, whether it's a motor vehicle or a person, we could receive alert. Uh, just like when you saw that scroll cross through, if, if this was traditional motion, you would receive some type of motion alert. Just like the, the tree with the branches moving, you would receive some type of motion alert. Uh, so with this, you could reduce your false alarm and only receive the alert based off of motor vehicle or human detection. Uh, so adjust your direction, adjust your sensitivity. Uh, and here we're gonna adjust you know, whether we want motor vehicle, non-motor vehicle, or pedestrian. Adjust your filter type. And then uh, you can also adjust your maximum and minimum size. So this way you can say no larger than this particular person or object and uh, you know, minimum size uh, requirement as well. Adjust those, put them in your field of view where you want those. Uh, and then pretty much anything has to meet those requirements before it triggers. So either minimum or maximum. Under trigger action, you can upload the image, adjust your alarm sound. Uh, from one through 10, uh, from a warning to a greeting, repeat that message. And then also the alarm light, your duration. So from you know one second all the way up to one minute uh, where it could repeat the flash or the message. Uh, here you can adjust your schedule planning. So whether you want it armed or not armed. And this way, if you know you're during business hours, you could turn that off and maybe after business hours, turn it on uh, or vice versa. Um, so you're able to adjust that in here as well. Um, pretty much for our line cross, that's pretty much it for setting up a rule. Uh, next we'll go into intrusion detection. Intrusion detection will be very similar to the line cross. We're just going to create an area um, that we're going to detect from motion. And again, same thing, whether it's human or vehicle, uh, we would set that up. Double click on anywhere on the screen to get uh, full screen access for the setup. Um, same function works on line cross. Uh, just kind of showing you both options. Uh, you're, able, you're able to do either or. So uh, expand the view, adjust your, your box. Um, pretty much you see the little points there. You can move them around. Um, same thing as far as time threshold, sensitivity, uh, adjust your snapshot, your filter type. And same rules with the maximum and minimum size. Uh, drag your box, get the exact size that you want um, to really, you know, kind of hone in on that exact uh, object or person that you're looking for. Uh, same thing with trigger action with the alarm sound. Select your alarm audio, repeat message, as well as your duration for the flash. Same thing with the plan. We won't go into that, but uh, pretty much that's it for intrusion detection. Save your settings after you're done doing everything and, and they'll, they'll retain. So this will basically trigger any time a vehicle or a person walks through that. Uh, here's an example of a vehicle being triggered. You can see our line cross uh, setting is there from the previous. So it kind of retains that in there at the same time. Thanks to Norman for the walkthrough on setting up these features on the Vigilant Performance Series SmartSense IP cameras. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact our technical support team for expert help. And as always, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to get notified when new Alibi Security videos are available.